This episode of Crawl Zone is brought to you by BDS Suspension, BF Goodrich Tires, and a Nitro Gear and Axle. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crawl Zone, this time from the Tierra del Sol Desert Safari. This is Crawl Zone. In this episode of Crawl Zone, you're going to see my buddy Del Albright take you around the desert safari. We're going to see Nitro Gear and Axle in their buggy in action. Plus, we found this unique Willys. You're going to see it here. You know, it's a special year for the Sierra del Sol Four Wheel Drive Club of San Diego. We're at a new headquarters out here in a private RV park across the Salton Sea for the 54th annual TDS Desert Safari. It's a great event, but we're not doing it at Ocotillo Wells and Truck Haven like normal. We have been pushed away because organized events are not allowed over in Truck Haven and Ocotillo Wells while they study some environmental issues and there's a lawsuit going on. It has changed the entire event, but it's still a great one. If we want to go back to Ocotillo Wells, you need to join, donate, and volunteer. Let's keep this event, the Desert Safari, alive and well. I'm Jeremy with Nitro Gear and Axle. We're out here with Crawl Zone at the 54th Tierra del Sol event. It's been four or five years since I've been out here, so it's quite a treat, really. Kind of bring some memories back. There's a lot of neat terrain out here, man-made obstacles nearby us, and just a lot of stuff to play around with. So we got our Nitro buggy out here, and we're getting ready to hit some of these obstacles and, and see what it's all about, and uh, see what kind of a challenge is up for it. Stay tuned, we got a word from our sponsors. Nitro Gear and Axle offers one of the nation's widest variety of top quality differential and axle parts for nearly all makes and models, including a huge list of industry exclusive Toyota applications. Nitro's state-of-the-art machining and heat-treated processes produce stronger, longer lasting, and easier to install parts. From competitive rock crawlers to daily drivers, Nitro Gear and Axle offers the best quality and widest range of products for your axles. Jeremy back here with Nitro Gear and Axle, out here with Crawl Zone. This morning we had some fun out in the sand and climbed some sandy washes, kind of filled the inside of the Jeep with dirt and dust and ourselves too. So we built this vehicle about three years ago now. A lot of people ask, what did it start with? Well, it didn't really start with anything other than a pile of tubing. It's all aluminum LS power. It's a six liter with a bunch of mass motorsports goodies thrown at it. 4L60 transmission, you know, Atlas transfer case, spider tracks, fabricated nine inch housings. It's actually got our billet nitro gear and axle third members with the 10 inch ring and pinions. We run a spool in the back and a Detroit locker in the front. So nice thing about running that setup is we don't ever have to worry about, oh, are my lockers engaged? We don't even have to think. We just stab it and go. This vehicle runs a 543 ratio and it's actually a 10 inch gear. It's made out of a 9310 material. 543s actually work well with these 40 inch tall tires and we run a four speed automatic transmission. So you got plenty of gearing. I mean, th this thing will hit speeds over hundred miles an hour if you want and you know, you're, you're not running out of top end. We're 
running our billet aluminum third member. The whole housing and pinion support is actually made out of a 6061 T6 aluminum. The caps are actually done out of a 7075 T6. You'll notice that it's got a 10 hole pinion support. We use all ARP fasteners in it, studs, nuts, everywhere. This thing, it has an awful lot of time and machining, you know, into it, but we wanted the best of the best. We wanted something that will hold up in a trophy truck or an ultra four race car. You know, I mean, th there's guys out there running six, seven, even upwards of about 800 horse to these things, you know, beating them in an off-road environment, not only through the rocks, but, uh, you know, high-speed desert stuff, trophy trucks. So a lot of time and money went into this, and, and it's a nice piece, and uh, this is why we run these in our buggy here. You can find these at nitro-gear.com. Coming up next is this unique Willys. Well, you'll see. Use it, abuse it, we dare you to break it. BDS suspension lifts are engineered to outperform on and off road. Short arm, long arm, IFS, and coilover options with factory protection plus on all kits. See more at BDS suspension.com. So, this is my little old granddad. Jeep. It's a 1946 CJ2A. It's 100% stock. It still has the flathead uh, four-cylinder with all 58 horsepower left in it. So it's a it's it's bone stock except they uh, I've added a, a lock right locker in the back, and that that made a huge huge difference. I, mean, I think it went a lot of places to begin with, and then added that little lock right in an hour or two, and the thing goes everywhere now. It's it's amazing. So the only real aftermarket besides the lock right is my not custom top. And everybody asks about this thing because it, it looks hilarious. A Canadian company manufactured it back in the 50s. You don't see them very often, but they, they pop up every once in a while. It only weighs, I think combined, maybe less than, than 20 pounds it adds to the weight. So it sat dormant for uh, 28 years. They couldn't get it to run. After looking at it, we got to noticing that the wires on the coil were just switched around and we switched it around and the thing fired right up after 28 years. Still got the, the original 5,600 miles on it. The tires are still the same 70 year old tires. You gotta put tubes in them to hold air but they still chew the dirt. So this thing's 100%, 100% original and anytime something takes a dump on me like the regulator I go and jump on eBay and I try and find the oldest rustiest still working regulator I can find and, and basically just maintain it and drive the drive the crap out of it. Back in 46, when these became civilian Jeeps, which was the 46 was the first year they sold them to the public, and mostly farmers bought them, but that uh, they moved the tire from the back on a tailgate that didn't open and they wanted to have a tailgate, so they moved the tire over to the side. And this little guy probably gets me in more trouble than anything because I always forget it's hanging out over here. So it, uh, I don't know how many times I've almost hit my own car in the driveway or you hang it up on a tree somewhere. It's, out in the, it's a terrible, terrible spot, but that's where it's supposed to go. So the back is where I keep, that's where the, the real business takes place, I guess. The old Foot Locker from Sergeant John Raymond, I think this is the name on it. And if you open it up, it's got the, the old pinup girl still plastered to the back and the all the tape marks for where he had probably family pictures and that kind of stuff. So I keep my tools and my food and whatnot in there and shovel and high lift in case, uh, in case I really get into too much trouble. And a, uh, a lawn chair for super chilling somewhere on top of a hill. So the inside is my favorite part because that's where I hang out a lot. It's, uh, it's still 100% stock, everything right down to the little, the old Jeep tag and information tells you how fast and what gear it'll go in and that kind of stuff. It's kind of like a uh, like a fine wine to me. It just let it age. We love getting out on the trail and bringing you epic coverage of great events from across the country, but we can't do that without our sponsors. Making this episode possible, Nitro Gear and Axle, BDS Suspension, and BF Goodrich Tires. We've also got Fat Bob's Garage and TNT Customs.
Do you remember that crazy KZ Tacoma build where we went to the nines and it's an awesome, t yeah, well, Brian got that stuck. didn't really go as planned. Thanks to some uh, friends in the off-road community, they took us right off and we're on our way. Thank you for joining us for another exciting episode of Crawl Zone. We are so glad you're here because this is why we do it for you. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Now remember, don't live life, live epic. Crawl Zone!